content that you need. I know. Oh, you did bring it. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay. So, so recording. We're live. We're live. I can't see you through the plant, but it's okay. You can't see me through the plant. The plant's plant. in the way. Plant. It's fake. It's so we're gonna break up the recording process into three parts. Before the recording, what we did before in preparation, the recording phase at the studio. Don't oh, yawn. Whenever you're ready. And <laughs> and the after the recording. Okay. Oh my god, this is beautiful. That's on film. This guy's an acrobat. Okay, so before the recording, so basically I was away and me and all the boys hadn't seen each other for a while. Oh. And I wrote a lot of songs. And then I came back from being away. He means four. You wrote four songs. I actually wrote a lot more than four. Well, but he, I only showed, four. he only showed us four of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yep. Came in and we went to a rehearsal room and we all jammed on the on the tracks and all the boys were like Sick. Sick. This sounds, <laughs> this sounds is sick. good, eh? And so we jammed on them for like, we probably did like, I want to say like five or six rehearsals. I think so. Over the course of like three weeks. Yeah, I reckon more, but my memory is actually Yeah, right. between like five and eight probably. Once they were in a good spot, we caught up our old mate Will, William Smithers, and we were like, yo, Will, we need to record What's some demos, man. And he was like, yeah, no worries, brother. And so... Oh, yeah, I remember that recording. And so I got Angel, had, who was he like... Had, he had to pick me up. I had to pick Angel up, because he couldn't drive. And we drove to my basement, <laughs> and all the boys got into the basement, and yeah. with Will this time. And this was, this was before Ali joined the band. So it was only the three of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we had no idea what the other guitar parts would sound like. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. he still had to write them. Play, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, then we got down there, and Will, who was our producer, he set up all the mics. Set up. We set up the drum kit. We set up guitar amps and whatnot, and we did live recording demos. So we all played the song together, and then we overdubbed. Um, Recorded on top of that track, and yeah, additional parts, additional like vocal parts, yeah. guitar parts, all that jazz, and they turned out pretty uh, okay. I would say the word would be yeah, they were right. They were okay. They were a good that like demo you tracks. You couldn't listen them, listen to them more than ten times. But them. yeah, that's what demo tracks are. If anyone doesn't know who's watching the video, they're just supposed to be like guides. Ways yeah. to get production ideas okay. out and to make adjustments on the arrangement so when you get into the studio, which is really expensive, you just like smash it out. And that was pretty much the before part of the recording. That was yeah. one preparation we did. Pretty and much. then during. And then during, we recorded at Everland Studios with Ben. So day one, <laughs> we, well, we did it over three days. Yeah, day um, one was drums. Day one was drums. I think at the end of the day, we recorded a little bit of bass. So, yeah, so the first day was the drums then. We played, we, yeah, so basically, uh, like, Alex and I did nothing. We sat around at, at the studio for, like, And critiqued me. Eight to ten hours, but we was really long. Oh. And then, second day, we recorded bass and some guitar. Actually, most of the guitar. Bass and guitar. And then on the third day, we recorded vocals and percussion and anything else. And then, we got the, to the end of day three, and Ben was like... You guys happy with everything? And we were like, yeah, it's good. Actually, me and Will, everyone else had left at this point. Yeah, it's just me and Will. <laughs> and he was like, cool, so I'll mix it, and then you guys can listen to it, and then tell me what we need to fix up, come back in. And so, yeah, that was the end of the recording process. And then it went to the after sort of process, which was um, waiting for it to be mixed. And Is then it done? Are they all done? And mastered? Yeah. Sick. You know what we'll do at the end of the video? We'll what? do a mastered reaction. Because only I've heard the master. None of you guys have heard. No, none of us have heard. Oh, wait, wait, I turned out the master and pulled me back in. Yeah, and... and <laughs> after the recording, I think it took like two or th two weeks to get the uh, mixes back. 
It's pretty fast. So Will and I went back in like a week or two after that to fix up all the things. And then I didn't show the boys the tracks for ages. Mm. When did you guys first hear the songs? Oh, it wasn't until before we started doing auditions. Mm. But Something yeah, like rock box mm. of all four. Yeah, the mixes. Wow. Um, and oh wow, okay. I, I feel like I was, a little left I, out over here. I, was, don't get I remember I sent the songs to Alex, right, and he was like, "Yeah, cool, man. I listened to them like this other." And then and he, he just never, to <laughs> he just never responded to me. I was like, "Oh my god." Is yeah, he, I listened to. Does he hate them? <laughs> well, here you go. And I, I was listening to him like three days later, and I was like, "Did you listen to the songs?" And he was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, they sound really good." And I was like, "What the hell?" So yeah, you really had me like wrapped around your finger for a couple of days. <laughs> That's really funny, I didn't know. I was like waiting oh. to see what he was going to say about it. Because oh. no one had heard them, only I On the edge of your seat for weeks. We're going to list, maybe this is helpful like if you're a local musician or like a, you know, you start now, I haven't been in the studio before, but we're going to just each say some tips that we'll, we would give for like, and this is just like oh. our opinion, right? First thing first. Practice to a click. That's a good one. Practice to Just a click. Just practice to a click. Just get used to hearing it drilling into your ears. Mm -hmm. really I practice to it, and this is this is good advice. I practice to a click, ten to twenty percent faster than what I'm actually going to play. Then what I'm supposed to play feels really comfortable because it feels slow, and your fingers will be adapted to it. <laughs> what about you, Lucky? Any any hot tips? I would say, yeah, I would say, like, obviously, like, be ultra prepared, like, know exactly what you're playing, do the demo thing, at least, like, get, like, even if you can't, like, record demos, like, record them on your phone or something. Yeah, just something. Like some kind of reference, and make sure everyone just, like, knows their parts, because, mm. like, every, if you think you got so much time in the studio, you're like, oh, you know, take me, like, a couple of hours to record the drums, a couple of hours to record the bass, it always takes way longer. Mm. No matter how like how good you are, there's always set up time and stuff. I was gonna say that, and I, I know these two probably probably gonna disagree with me. Bit of a hot, oh here we go, opinion. But we're gonna record a fight. Yeah, there is a bit of a <laughs> there is a bit of an art in knowing if a song just maybe isn't quite there, and like if you go into the studio and you record, we well, oh, recorded four songs, and um. And they all sounded good, but you've sort of got to decide like what's going to make the cut. Yeah, maybe it, maybe it wasn't just like quite good enough. You've just got to be sort of um, prepared to be like to let it go, I suppose, and just be mm. able to step back and be like, okay, well, be able to look at it from a subjective perspective. Yeah, and think did like I want to release the best stuff I've got to release. And my last tip is probably to. If you can, get a producer, but also just to have get a will. somebody, get a will, yeah. Get a will, yeah, you need a will. You need to get a will. Yeah, if you've got a producer or even just somebody who is knowledgeable at, about music, who can critique and maybe gives you some advice, guide you through the process of figuring out parts, finding out what's good and what's not so good, because when you play it hundreds of times, hundreds of you, times. Lose, you lose a sort of like certain unbiasedness yeah and you just get stuck to what you used to hear it's not even the unbiased you're just like i hate this song yeah you, you might hate, hate it i've played it so many times i'm so sick of it and you're like someone else will come in and be like my god that sounds amazing or you don't like, want to change it you're kidding me this is disgusting yeah and the flip side of that is you don't want to change it at all you're like oh this is yeah. like this is perfect you don't need to change anything and then if anyone has a good idea you just instantly reject it so it's good to just have someone to be like actually i think we should Look at that again. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna finish up with our, our little reaction because we just got the masters, which is like the final. Um, you got them on your phone. Yeah. Oh. The final sort oh. of like. Angels away. Playthrough, oh. like the final no, product. I'm still saying. Thing that we like upload to Spotify. Everyone's release. It's release ready. It's release, it's ready. release ready. So all the boys, I reckon, we should probably get in someone's car and play it rather than like play it on my phone. Let's just get to the car. We get Ali as well, so you can listen to. It. I don't have one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? No. Turn it up. Oh, 
Oh. What did you guys reckon? That was brilliant. I mean, it. Well, it's so good that I'm getting out of the goddamn no, car. The world just jamming it. <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys think? That's f***ing fun. Nah, that's a good one. That's a good hey, one. Fire. Hey. Absolutely Chef. fire. I mean... Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, what? I mean... Uh, fire? Hey. Fire? Mm. Um, Those two get together. Mm. Holy yeah, they pair nicely. Any final thoughts? Um... What are they coming out? Yeah, sick... <laughs> yeah, 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 sick demos. Look, we're at, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I know when it's coming out. But just to like, full brief myself, I'm just gonna put it up on the screen. Right here. <laughs> right here. On the bottom. Yeah, so like... God, then, this looks like a fucking horror. Did the date change? Alex, you're running the link. Bro, the link. You're moving the fonts around, it's not good. <laughs> the link is right here. But I can say that the <laughs> first single is called Pull Me Back In. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Hong Alex's, let's like get the camera to Hong Alex's nose. Wow. The outro. That's, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh.